Hey guys, thank you for joining. If you didn't know, the August 2023 Power BI updates have been released. And today guys, today I'm gonna show you four new improvements. So let's do this. Like I said before, these are not new features, but improvements. And let's get started with a new layout switcher. So this is a really good one. If you take a look at the bottom, so we have two different views, the desktop layout view and also the mobile layout view. What does it mean? It means that you can easily switch from the mobile to the desktop view. Check this out. So now you have here right away the mobile layout and you can start customizing your views. This is really powerful, my friends, if you create your Power BI reports in both views. So now let's move on to the next one. New bubble range scaling settings. This is also a cool feature and I'm gonna show you why I think this is a cool feature. We have two different visuals here. We have the map visual on the left and also we have the scatter visual on the right. Let's get started with the map visual. Select the visual here. If you go over bubbles, so now you have this feature called range scaling. You can play with this. Day range, auto, you can do whatever you want. Let's say that we care about data range, but the coolest part about this is the size. You can play with it and then you can select any size. Let's say for now 30, there you go. So that's how it works, really, really powerful. Now let's take a look at the other visual, the scatter visual. It's quite similar. What we need to do here is select the visual, go over markers. Once we are here, here you can play with the type. You can select any type here, but for now let's keep circle. And then style, you can also play with style here. You can do whatever you want. But what we care about here is size. So let's expand this and then you have a different size. Like I said before, these are really good improvements. Now let's move on to the next one. So now let's talk about resizing and positioning. Check this out. If we select this visual and then we wanna add more fields. So this new window pops up. So now you may ask, why is this a good deal? It's quite straightforward if you have long field names. So it will be so much easier now to expand this and then read the names easily. Really powerful, my friends. Play with it and let me know how it goes. Another cool feature here is the positioning. In the past, if we had this visual like this, maybe we can shrink this a little bit and then if you click on this option right here, the data and build your visual option, as you can see, what happens now is that this is changing. It's moving up. So in that way, you don't have to scroll down or up to see the fields. So this is also really powerful, really good improvement here. Please keep that in mind. Now, guys, let's move on to the next improvement. So let's talk about now sub selections in spotlight mode. Let's say that we wanna make changes here. Select this visual, go over the ellipses here, and then select spotlight. Now, if you wanna make changes here, you can do that now in spotlight mode. Check this out. So let's say here that we wanna remove the conditional formatting, we can do that. So it's working perfectly fine. So let's say that we wanna put this on focus mode. You can do that as well. And then you can keep editing here but you can also end format mode right away if you want. And then go back to report. Really powerful improvements, guys. I hope you found this really, really helpful. And there you have it, my friends. If you haven't played with these features, it's highly recommended. Let me know your thoughts. And also don't forget to check these tutorials out. Really good content as well. Thank you guys for your time and see you in my next tutorial.